My sweet friends, welcome back to my home. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Rebecca. Welcome. Uh, today, what I am doing is the Jingle Bell Hop, where uh, quite a few uh, ladies here on YouTube that has got together to bring you uh, a continual watch of something different that everybody will be doing now the playlist is going to be linked in the comment below and you can go and continually watch all one after another so that's what this is is a hop or you can go into the description box and find the next link and click on that and hop on over and watch the next one what am i doing for the jingle bell hop uh, today i have three different dough bowls and this was a small one that i got at hobby lobby so we're just going to do it in some different styles i'm going to show you uh, some ways that you can decorate your dough bowl and then i the next one that i have i have three different ones this one also came from hobby lobby and this is probably about 18 to 22 inches wide and the only thing with this one is it has, it's different. It has a curved bottom. So it's not easy to set things in here, but I'm gonna show you some of the things that you can do on this one. And then the last one that I have, I, I just recently ordered from uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. And what I like about this one is it is a little wider and it has a flat bottom. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that you can do with a dough bowl like this. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. Hey guys, for this first dough bowl, which is the small one, uh, several things that you can do with it is just add uh, some of your favorite color ornaments and if you want it to dress it up just a little more, uh, this is some um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I had used this previously for something, but I keep all of my ribbons and bows. And I'm just gonna fluff that up. And if I wanted to add a little more color, Just to dress it up, you could add a little more greenery here. You could add a candle in the middle. If you wanted to make it a little more primitive style, you could add uh, some berries. Guys, also I uh, have, you can get a little bag of these birch wood from Hobby Lobby and how cute would this be? Just to add a little, little of that. You could add a little bow. And how adorable would that be? Uh, if you wanted to add a little bit of greenery, let's say you have some on hand, you just want to add a touch of that. Okay guys, these little ornaments, you can get a pack of three at Hobby Lobby. How cute is that? joy basket that's I'm going to use it as a leverage since it's this is rounded in the bottom so I'm going to add this it's um, a little ornament from Hobby Lobby last year and I'm going to put that in there and that, that is going to allow my candle to sit there And guys, if you have a candle ring or something like that, or greenery that you can just add around. Mm -hmm. 
this bowl, I believe it is still available at Hobby Lobby. I have some picks here from Hobby Lobby. Some with pine cones. I also have some picks with no pine cones. Okay guys, I have a couple of snowflakes here. Here's one in the black. How adorable is this? Let's see if we can add that. You could add a candle in there if you wanted to. And I've just added some little ornaments in here along with some greenery. It could be anything of your choice. I love these colors. I my color for this year is black and green with a little ivory. And if you wanted to put uh, like a, another little pick with some of the little round berries, how cute that would be to add to this color would this be. So you don't like the black for Christmas, go ahead and add the white. How cute is that snowflake? With these, I have the pine cones, and these just lay in here so nicely. And with the two stems here, this candle is going to sit in there. Again, guys, this could be any colors that you wanted. Your berries could be a different color, your ribbon. Uh, this is what I have on hand. Uh, in fact, I think I like a little bit taller candle uh, for this one. This one looks a little short. Okay, we do have some lamb's ear. Maybe you like the lamb's ear. I have this cute little sleigh. How cute is that? A couple of little trees. I believe I got these from Hobby Lobby. It might have been Walmart. I'm going to place in there. I'm going to add some silver ornaments here. How cute is this? Here, you could add, if you want a little pop of color of red, you could add a little pop of color of red in there. Next uh, is some farmhouse buffalo check. And let's just say, you know, if you don't know how to make a ribbon, I'm just gonna show you something that you can do real quick. We want these sort of small, so I'm just gonna cut this is probably, oh guys, this is probably about six inches, so it's gonna make a three, three inch bow. And you're just going to put it together and I'm gonna roll a little bit up so that it sort of holds and you can just start tucking this in. If 
If you didn't want those two little trees, you could add a candle, any height you wanted. Some more greenery in there, just to make it a little more rustic. for this newest bow that I have purchased. I got this one from Amazon and I just love it. I love that it has a flat bottom. So there's so much that we can do with, with that flat bottom. I have these picks, they're from Hobby Lobby. They have the longer pine cones on them. They almost look realistic. I'm gonna place one on this side. I'm gonna place one on this side. I think I want it in, in the bowl. I don't want it to hang over too much. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's just a little natural looking. You can paint it any color you want, uh, if you know if you want it. But I just love him all natural. I also found some snowflakes from Hobby Lobby that are in a natural. And I'm gonna scoot this over a little. And I'm gonna put this one in the front. And then I just wanna start filling this in. So I do have these fairy lights and I have a candle on a birch wood. I'm gonna go ahead and sort of thread this through just a little bit. Okay, and then I have some birch wood that'll match this, and I'm just gonna place that in there, just at different places. Put some pretty ends up there to it. And then I have some beautiful pine cones. You can use any size. These are just some that I have on hand that I'm gonna place throughout. You can add just some red berries in there just to give it some color. Okay guys, another thing that you could do is you could also do a village. How adorable would that be with the little houses and some of the bottle brush trees? How cute would that be? So this is the one that I'm fixing for my table. So I have had this hurricane lamp for many years and
Okay, guys, did you have a favorite? I hope that I motivated and inspired you in some way to fix up your dough bowls. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that the playlist is in the com pinned in the comments section below to go watch all of the lovely ladies that have spent their time to join this Jingle Bell Hop. So go ahead and watch all of those and enjoy. I do hope that you are enjoying the uh, Christmas Home Spotlights. I have lots more to come all the way up to uh, Christmas Eve and I will continue to bring those to you. Anyway, until my next video, guys, I will see you then. Bye.